Right now, I'm going to show you how to create a creamy, dreamy photo look inside of Photoshop. So we're going to start with this photograph here that was submitted by Karen O'Shaughnessy. I don't know if I'm saying the name right, but we're going to right click here and we are going to open this inside of Camera Raw inside of Photoshop. So let's get started. First thing I'm going to do is fix the exposure a little bit. So let's just turn up the brightness just a touch. So we want to get rid of this arm here. So let's choose our healing brush. And I'm going to change from heal to clone. Okay, so let's just draw over the area we want to get rid of. Don't worry about going all the way in. And notice it's going to sample a little bit from the black there. Let's increase that. That's not bad. Let's give it a second go because we definitely need to go a little bit more than that. There we go. Now it's starting to kick in. So sometimes you're not just going to get it in one go. You're going to have to give it a couple of shots. There we go. Looking good. And let's go in here with the hand. Now we could quite easily fix this inside of Photoshop too, which I think we'll save that last little bit for there. Let's go back into our adjustments here. And we'll set our exposure. I'm going to cool this down just to give it a kind of an interesting magical look. Let's push it into the cooler area. Now, of course, this is subjective to your own taste, but I want to kind of have a, almost a dreamy moonlight kind of a look on here. And let's have a look at our highlights. Let's recover those just a little bit. I'm going to give it a little punch of contrast. I'm going to take the texture down just a little bit. So it just kind of smoothens it out. And let's do the rest of this. Hang on, let's just do the blacks first. That looks pretty good. So now we're just going to open this inside of Photoshop as an object. Hold down the shift key if it just says open. So we can see open object. And it's going to open it as a smart object. Great. And uh, here's a little trick. We can use the healing brush. And if you change the mode of this to replace, then it works just like the clone stamp. And this way I'm just going to force it now to get in here. So hold down the alt or the option key and just click. And notice we can get right up to the edge there and we get that nice black without the other color coming through. If you see a smudgy edge, that's probably because you're in normal mode. So that'll just get it right there. Great. Okay, so let's go ahead and get our effect going now. There we go. So we reset our workspace, makes things a little bit cleaner. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this layer and we're going to duplicate it. Now you can drag that into the new layer icon. Or you could hit Control J, Command J, will get you the same result that will duplicate the layer. Now we're going to change it from normal into overlay blending mode. And we're not there yet. We've got two more steps. Let's go to filter and we're going to choose blur. Now this is what's going to start to give us this dreamy look with the Gaussian blur. Notice how it looks almost painterly. If you go too far, you can see it starts to just kind of look rough and textury. If you don't go far enough, it looks rough and textury. But then when you get into the, the, you know, what I like to call just into the dream zone here, see how it just gives it this really silky, smooth, buttery look. Click OK. Let's zoom out a little bit. And now what we want to do is just play around with the opacity. So let's take our opacity all the way down. And now we're just going to dial in the look we want. Now I'm using overlay. You could also try this in soft light mode. In soft light, you probably want to give it a little more opacity, and that also gives it a nice look. And if you feel like you want to really punch it, then hard light will do similar, but with more intensity. I'm going to choose overlay, though. And let's just bring that down to about where we want to go. That's starting to look quite good. Now, the last thing I'm going to do is just give it a little bit of dodging and burning. Okay, so hold down the Alt or the Option key, and we're going to hit the Plus key. And under there, we're going to change our blend mode to overlay, and we're going to fill it with 50% gray. Click OK. Now let's grab our brushes. Now we could use our dodge and burn tools, but they don't allow me to use pen pressure. And since I'm using a Wacom pen here, I want to be able to use pen pressure. So click on the panel here, and we can see under transfer opacity, let's set that to pen pressure. Unfortunately, the dodge and burn tools don't do that. So this enables me to press harder for more or press less for, you know, so I can shade it like a pencil. Uh, what I want to do is take my flow down to about 10%. So hold the shift key and tap the one key. 
that will take me down to 10% and let's just gently make sure that we've got white as a foreground color hit the X key we've got white as a foreground and now let's just paint this highlight area nice left bracket key to make it a little smaller and I'm also going to get this line here you know where the main is just kind of catching the light and let's just give it a little brighten it up here it's just going to make it look a little nicer a little more magical great and I'm going to drop the flow down even lower because I want to pick up just a couple of other parts of the horse here just to get a little bit here we go just to pick up this light give it some shape some definition some texture and um, make it a little bit here too just there and I'm just going to catch it here and see what we're doing we're just enhancing that rim light a little bit just on those edges and a little rim there just to kind of make it pop a little and I'm even going to do just a little bit there on the face not too much but just a very light touch a little around the ears Now let's hit the X key and this is going to give me black and with the black I'm just going to darken down this table a little bit in the background. I don't want to get rid of it. I just want to darken it down so it's not taking all the attention away from this beautiful animal here, this horse. And I'm just darkening around some of these other areas right now. And you know I'm going for a kind of a interesting dreamy look so it doesn't matter if I'm pushing these all the way into black I'm actually okay with that in this case and let's go right here and just kind of deepen that by just touching there and a little bit on the neck great so let's have a look and see what we've got so here's our original with the basic adjustments here's our layer where we're kind of uh, the overlay layer and then here's our dodging and burning. If the dodging and burning is too high, we can take it down and we can work it. And of course, we can also take this into a soft light mode. Let me just close the brushes so you can see easier. Soft light gives us a nice look. The hard light gives us a very interesting look too. Maybe a little strong. Take that opacity down a little bit for that. And of course, overlay, which is where we started. A little bit more. I'm curious, what do you like better? Do you like the soft light, the hard light, or the overlay? Let me know in the comments underneath. And by the way, this was from Fix My Photo, where we do this live every Thursday at 1 p.m. Pacific time here on YouTube. I do a live stream where I take your photos. Uh, this is live from lockdown. I take your photos during Fix My Photo and uh, edit them. And this is one of the examples from last week. And once again, thank you to Karen for submitting this absolutely beautiful photograph. And if you guys got any value out of this, let me know in the comments underneath. And by the way, if you're new here, welcome to the cafe. Hit the subscribe button, turn on notifications, you'll get a new video from me every week. So anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this. And if it helped you, the uh, best way you can help me is by hitting that like button. It helps us with the algorithm. So anyway, guys, until next time, I'll see you at the cafe.